After five weeks off, let's be gentle with ourselves. So come into mountain pose. We'll do our usual warm-ups. Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down. Get everything nicely aligned up through your shoulders. Activate your core with those ribs towards your spine and up and feel the spine lengthen. Shoulders back and down. Let your arms relax, spread your toes out and take a moment just to focus inward. Breathe deep. Exhale, any tension. And then inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder level. Keep the shoulders down. Hands to your heart, elbows back. Inhale, stretch those arms forward with your shoulders down. And then exhale and clasp your hands behind you. Just fingertips together, press them to the floor. Lift your heart, stretch your head back. And then pivot at your hips, exhale over. So hands up, head down. Move your chin, release your neck a little bit more. Take a few breaths. Just deepen into that sink. Spread your toes out, bend your knees slightly. Lift your ribs, drop your sitting bones. Start at the bottom of your spine and just line all the way back up. And lift your heart. Drop your shoulders, reach your head away. And into that gentle upper body back bend. Take a few breaths there, looking at the ceiling, stretching your neck and the whole spine. On an inhalation, come on back up, release your arms, and take a moment just feeling what your body is telling you today. Gentle, just breathe. And again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, shoulders down, and then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So shift the fingers one position over. Chest high, press the hands down, a nice little back bend. And again, pivot at your hips, exhaling all the way down. And just deepen as much as your body would like into that position. Hands toward your head for a little shoulder work. And again, just release anything that's tight. Tuck your chin in, bend your knees slightly, and again, work your way slowly up into the back bend, dropping your shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. Reach your head away, keep breathing, lifting your heart. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment just, again, focusing inward, spread those toes. And let's bring the arms to shoulder level, shoulders still down, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Go ahead, clasp those or hands over your head, bring your arms back by your ears, pull your shoulders down, and reach your head and fingertips up. Stay facing the front and lean to the side, getting those ribs opening. Feel that side contracting your leaning toward. And then push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra side stretch. Take a moment and breathe. And then inhale back up. Switch the other hand to the front. And again, pull your arms by your ears. Sitting bones down, crown high. Lean to the other side. Don't lean forward. Make sure everything faces the front. Feel those ribs stretch as you push the foot down you're leaning away from. Feel that side contract gently, and your spine move sideways. And then inhale back upright, exhale into mountain pose. Roll the shoulders a couple times back and down, get that circulation going, and get ready for our twist. So stretch the spine apart, sitting bones down, base of the skull up. Arms at shoulder level again. Keep the shoulders down as you turn your palms up, hands above your shoulders, clasping your elbows. And again, next to your ears with those arms, sitting bones and spine stretch apart, and exhale to the side. Take a breath, and on an exhalation, come over in the twist. Lift your sitting bones, maybe. Keep your arms by your ears as much as you can. Take a few breaths. Just relax. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Spread your toes. And inhale, working your weight up. 
chest high, shoulders down, elbows back. And again, a nice upper body back bend when you're in that twist. Remember, always gentle on the low back bend. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around. And again, arms by your ears, stretch the spine apart to twist to the other side. Take a breath and exhale over. And again, just deepen as much as your body would like on this side. See if the weight's still on both feet evenly. Relax everything. And then in the twist, work your way up as you inhale into that upper body for your back bend. Chest high, shoulders down, elbows back. And again, not too high. Don't lift your chin. Keep stretching through the neck. And then inhale upright. Exhale around to the center. Shoulders down, fingertips high, coming into extended mount. Take a moment there, just breathe. Palms out, coming to shoulder level. Everything straight, stretch your spine apart. Exhale, twist. So bring one hand to the front and the other one straight behind you as you turn your whole body toward the side. Feet planted. And then exhale back to the center. Arms straight out from each other, shoulders down. And we'll go to the other side. Keep that spine stretching apart. And exhale back to the center. Arms stretching out. And then lead with your chest and chin, coming forward, pivoting at your hips, all the way to parallel to the floor. Stretch everything out. And then drop into ragdoll. Just hang. Lift your sitting bones. Get those backs of the legs stretching a little bit more. Maybe pull in with your hands behind your legs for even deeper stretch. And then hands to the front, chin slightly in, knees slightly bent. And again, now wind up from the bottom of your spine all the way to the top. Bring those shoulders circling back and down a couple of times. And into mountain pose. Spread those toes apart. Stretch your spine apart. And feel that sinking evenly into your feet. Stretch the spine apart again. We'll do our little side to side windmill, following your hands from one side all the way around to the other. Keep the head reaching up and the shoulders relaxing down. And just feel that spine getting a little bit more energy moving through it. Keep lengthening and breathing, exhaling and relaxing. And then back to the center, and our backstroke and swimming for that shoulder area. So bring your arm in close to your ear as it comes up and around and toward the back. And then bring both arms up, stretch one side high, coming up on the opposite toe, so lifting that other heel. Side you're stretching, the foot stays flat, and again, that whole side gets a good stretch all the way up through the fingertips. Ribs opening. Feel the shoulders, pull the shoulder blades down. Exhale that side down, the other one up. And again, up on the opposite toe, lifting that heel, side you're stretching is flat. Head and fingertips reach up as you sink evenly into that whole bottom of the foot that's down. And then release, let's do one more of that same thing. Up on the other side, getting those ribs really stretching apart. Exhale and release. Inhale and stretch that final side. And then both feet down, both arms up. Again, extended mountain. Pull those shoulders, shoulder blades, and sitting bones toward the floor. Take a moment. Reaching up through the fingertips, but not the shoulders. Up through the crown. Sink, sink, sink into your feet evenly. And then push the sitting bones slightly back. Keep the arms by your ears. And again, parallel to the floor with that whole upper body. Stretch it out. And drop into ragdoll. Slide your hands up under your knees. Halfway up, stretch. Palms on your shins. Elbows, knees, and spine straight. Just give it a good stretch again. And then 
Draw up in a rag doll. Just hang a moment. Tuck in the chin. Bend the knees. And again, another little wind up. Bottom of the spine, one bone at a time, coming back all the way up. And again, into mountain pose. Feel your body just stretched out through that whole spine. Step your feet together. Bend your knees toward, but not beyond your toes. Hands above your knees, just position, don't press, no, no support. And then circle those knees. So feel your ankles work a little bit, the bottoms of your feet, your toes. Get everything moving as you circle those knees around. Feel that lower back and hip area also getting a little gentle working. And then stop that circle and go the other way. So evenly balancing things out as we do in yoga. And then come back to the center, stopping with those knees just slightly in front of your ankles. Look at the floor somewhere in front of you and lift your heels. Come onto that ball of the foot, base of the toe area, Barbie feet. Take a moment there. Find your balance. See how that's working today. Take a moment and breathe. And then roll back on your heels and lift your toes and work out the whole bottom of your foot. So feel the arches, the ankles, the toes, everything. Getting a little bit more massage. And then stop. Separate your feet, straighten your knees, and come back into mountain pose. Take a breath. Just exhale any stress and tension. And reach your crown up toward the ceiling. Find your favorite balance foot. We'll do our balance gentle practice. So spread your toes on your balance foot. Get that ball of the foot base of the toe area down. Remember, lift those toes a little bit, no gripping. Feel that arch lift, the whole outside of the foot connecting. Make sure the ankle, knee, hip, shoulder are lined up so that may require that inner turn to the top of the thigh. Core activated to support your spine, ribs toward your spine and up lengthen through the crown. And then the other leg again, rolling slightly in so you don't cross the foot over, bring that foot up as high as it wants to go. You can pull in toward your heart if you like. And then work your ankle, circling it both ways, finding your balance, spreading those toes on the floor. Flex some points, straighten that foot out as you bring it back down. Take what worked, move it to the other side so that we can balance again in our mat, in our balance practice. Spread the toes, lengthen up and align. Core active, crown to the ceiling, and again, bring the other foot up as far as it wants. You can hold around or under the leg if you want to. And then just circling that ankle, getting things nice and flexible on that side. Circling both ways. When you're ready to release it, again, flex the point to straighten it out as you bring it back down. And back in mountain pose, just take a moment, feeling that connection into both feet evenly. Shoulders relaxing down, crown to the ceiling, core active, and arms at shoulder level. Stretch the fingertips out, turn the palms toward the ceiling, spread the fingers, and some nice big circles with those shoulders, getting that upper body working a little bit more. Stretch out through the crown, out through the fingertips, sink evenly into your feet, spread your toes out. Slight bend to the knees if you'd like, and then small circles with those arms. And then stopping, turn the palms toward the floor, spreading the fingers still, and circle the other way. So big circles as you start, get the shoulders really moving, and slowly making those circles small. And then stopping, keep the hips over your ankles and push, feeling those ribs stretch on one side, shoulders toward your waist, back to the center, and 
fingertips reaching the other direction. And back to the center. Thumbs inside, curl the fingers gently around, turn one fist up and the other down, and rotate. Keep pushing out through the fist, up through the crown, down with the shoulders and shoulder blades. Core active, supporting your spine, don't forget, ribs in and up. Get those lower arms working with the fists, moving around, and then bring the upper arms in, and then really moving the shoulder. So as you feel those fists going down, pull that shoulder forward, and then pull it back as the fists go up. Feel that whole upper body all the way into the spine, getting a little massage now. Keep pushing out through the fists while you're working it. And then gently releasing the shoulders and the upper arms and the lower arms and the fists. And then tighten those fists really tight, 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 tight. Tighten them into that bud of the flower and we'll do our National Geographic slow motion release. So let those petals just gently release from around the thumb. Fingertips just slowly, slowly, slowly stretching out. Feel them lengthening and stretching, just opening through the whole palm. And as it gets all the way fully open, bring those palms out toward the sun and the sky. And then shake out that whole upper body. Oh my goodness, we really worked that. Take a moment and breathe as you get back into mountain pose. Feel the circulation through the shoulders, through the spine. Turn your feet slightly out. Bend your knees toward, not beyond your toes. Again, hands above your knees. Stretch your spine apart. We'll do that little twist. So we're going to bring the shoulder across toward the opposite knee, turning your whole body looking toward the side. So the hip comes slightly back on the side you're turning toward. And the ribs turn. The whole shoulder area turns and you look toward the side. Bring that shoulder way down toward the knee as much as it wants to go. And then exhale and turn back toward the center position, getting everything nice and straight and stretched out so we can twist to that other side. And again, the whole body is turning as you bring that shoulder across and down toward the knee, hip going back, spine, ribs, everything, shoulders turning toward the opposite side. Stretch it out, lengthening, breathing. And then exhaling again, turning back toward the center. And then straightening the knees a little bit, just drop those hands down. Lift the sitting bones, tuck in the chin, turn the toes toward the front, and roll back up. And again, into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment, feel that whole spine a little more activated. Well, let's do our pelvic tilts too. So again, toes turn to the side. Just gently knees toward, but not beyond the toes. Hands above the knees again. No support, just positioning to keep the shoulders right above your toes. And then start with that spine nice and straight and then drop into the back bend. So chest forward, sitting bones up and back, and look toward the foot. Get as much stretch going through the spine as you can. Don't crunch the neck too much. Do not lift the chin, but just look slightly forward. Feel back bend as deeply as you like. And then sitting bones tucked down and forward, ribs pull in, and chin tucks as well as you look down toward your feet. Spread those toes out. And remember, no pressure in the knees, no pressure in the hands. Just a nice rounded forward bend through that whole length of your spine. Inhaling, come back into the back bend. So push the sitting bones, hips back, ribs down, chest forward, and look to the front. Shoulder blades toward your waist. And again, sitting bones tucked down and forward, ribs in, chin tucking, and rounding through the whole spine, shoulders slightly forward. 
And a couple more times, just breathe with it, inhaling, back bending, getting that pelvis moving, as well as the spine. Tucking down as you exhale, looking toward the floor. And another back bend, breathing, opening the heart, exhaling, rounding, feeling that contraction through the abs and the midsection. And then as you're there, just pause and come on, inhaling back up and again into mountain pose. Hands to your heart. Look at your hands. Inhale them toward the seat. Just follow the hands up and come into a nice back bend, lifting the heart, looking back at your thumbs. Exhale, follow the hands to your heart. Pivot on over, drop into the end. And sliding up under your knees on your shins, halfway up, stretch. Shoulder, shoulder blades toward your waist, chest slightly toward the floor. Neck stretching long, everything straight, elbows, knees, and spine. Exhale, drop down into your forward position as much as you like. And then bend your knees, coming to the floor into a nice little child pose transition. Hands toward your feet, or head toward the floor. Just round forward as much as you'd like. Knees together for a good low back stretch, or apart to breathe easier. And then inhaling, sit up on your heels, slide off, and bring your feet to the end of the mat. Knee with the part. Knees and toes up toward the ceiling or activated, getting that low back supported. Shoulders right above your hips and shoulder blades towards your waist. Head reaching up toward the ceiling. Keep that core active as you slowly lower onto your lower back, onto the lower ribs, onto the shoulder blades, and finally the shoulders and all the way down onto your back. Take a moment there, just breathe, feeling your body as you bring your hands to T position, palms up, straight up from your shoulders. Sitting bones slightly toward your heels, press your gen back gently to the floor, bend your right leg, foot to the left side, knee up toward the ceiling. We're rolling all the way to the left side, so bring the right knee across your body, down to the floor, Hands together in front of you, keep your head on the floor, and use a pillow if you need to support your head. Don't overstrain your neck. Hand on your knee, left hand on your knee, right hand toward the ceiling right above your shoulder. We're going into our twist. So get a good stretch through your spine, push that head away, sitting bones away, and then bring that hand behind you toward the floor, the back of the hand coming right at shoulder level. So don't bring it up toward your head or down toward your foot, but straight back. So that chest area opens nicely toward the ceiling as you move into your twist. The more you keep the knee down, the more that low back is in the twist. So be gentle there if you need to. Put a pillow under your knee if you need support. And that hand may not make it to the floor. That's okay. Just let it go wherever gravity brings it and then relax. And gravity may pull you a little deeper into that middle back twist when you're ready, but don't force it. It's whatever you're doing. Head turning, that's the neck area twist. Only go as far as your neck area is willing to go, looking toward that hand behind you. Take a few breaths there. Emphasize the exhalation that releases those ligaments and lets your spine twist even more if it's ready. So just allow it to happen, never forcing a twist. Always just doing what your body is ready to do. And as you practice, things will get even deeper when they're ready. And then letting go of your knee, just roll onto your back and slide your foot next to the other one, getting ready to twist to the other side. So again, Nicely positioned on the floor, sitting bones slightly toward your heel, back pressing gently down as you bend your left knee, foot to the right thigh. This time, head on the floor, rolling to the side, hands together and right left knee to the right side. 
Right hand on your knee this time, and left hand above your shoulder, look up at it, and again, follow it with your gaze as that hand moves toward the floor. And again, it may not make it, don't worry if it doesn't. Notice one side may be tighter than the other. That's not unusual. Remember, we're habitual creatures. We use our bodies one side more often than the other. Getting in the car, sitting at the desk or the table, standing, everything we do. Everything may be a little bit less on one side and more on the other. So just be willing to notice Letting your body do what's right for it as you relax into your twist. Knee down for that low back, head turning for the neck. And of course, just let gravity bring your hand toward the floor, right at shoulder level. Take a breath. Relax into it as much as your body would like. Deep breathing and just relaxing. Everything, allowing things to Align and balance in your body, your spine, and your energy. And when you're ready to release, just let go of the knee, roll onto your back, and again, slide it into the other one along the floor. Relax your body down, bring your hands near your sides, palms up, getting ready for our final relaxation. And just deepen into that connection with the surface beneath you. Shoulders relaxing down, letting your heart open nicely, hands, palms up to facilitate that. Toes slightly toward each other and then just relax your legs, letting those feet separate slightly, allowing your whole body just to relax and sink into that surface beneath you. Deep breaths. Move your head from side to side, letting your neck release and relax as well. And when you find that comfortable midpoint, just release and relax through your whole body, letting it sink deep into that surface beneath you. And just let Mother Earth support you as she always does. Deepening that earthbound connection, just let your body go completely, relaxing totally, breathing, letting go. And as you release thoughts of your body into that earth support, just allow any new thoughts coming to you to release as well. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. And allow your body to deepen into that earthbound connection and your mind to free and drift without awareness, no remembering the past or anticipating the future, no thinking about anything at all, just focusing on the breath, letting the body sink, letting the mind drift, and allowing your awareness to fall inward into that awareness of peace deep within. And just allow yourself a few moments to be peace. If you want to keep relaxing today even longer, take as much time as you have opportunity. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you today. As you breathe and stretch more fully and completely, when you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation, 
Press your back gently down, sitting bones towards your heels. Draw your heels up towards your hips and your knees up towards your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hold. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your head to the floor. Keep your knees above your hips. Give yourself a nice little circle on that low back. And when you're done, you can stop the circles and your feet and head to the floor. Roll to the side. And sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. Thanks for joining me.